the manager. A difficult worker to understand. Stealing all your money. No, today I will not blame the manager about anything, but make you properly understand it. I can guarantee you that after watching this entire video, you will no longer have any questions about the manager. So let's hop straight into the video. So firstly, when should you hire this manager? Now, the manager is a fantastic worker and it plays a huge role in making your store automatic. However, hiring it too early can actually lead to your store going in depth. It is important to know that the manager costs $40 per minute to keep up. And that is actually $2,400 an hour, just mentioning. Now, one manager loan might not necessarily make your store go in depth, but usually people hire other workers at the same time to make the store fully automatic. You might hire a guard, a restock, or a janitor, and etc. etc. And this might actually cost as much as $10,000 an hour, probably even more. If you then run a small store selling foods, which doesn't earn too much, the economy might flat out or even go downwards, making you end up in debt due to worker payments. And uh, to be honest, uh, that is a bit cringe. So make sure to have a good store running before hiring the manager. And don't buy too many other workers as well, because it might end up too expensive for you. A good example for a store that can hire a manager is a store selling expensive items like small electronics and has maybe six, seven parking lots. So you have a little bit of an economy going for yourself. Now, should you use instant delivery? And if so, when? So if you have ever seen the manager before, you most likely know that you are led with an option of either using instant delivery or not. Using instant delivery makes it so purchased items are directly transferred to your storage, which might be quite useful when you are selling larger items like furniture, because they are really large in size and you might have to like deliver them lots of times, you should perhaps also just instant deliver them. Now keep in mind that the added 25% extra cost of items might actually make items like vehicles be worth negative money. Let me explain. A vehicle with instant delivery costs $16,250. And when selling the same vehicle for $15,000, you end up losing $1,250. What? However, some items with high value, like furniture for example, have less of an impact when using instant delivery. And furniture with instant delivery actually earns more than small electronics with normal delivery. That's a bit interesting, but if you just started out and want a good furniture layout, make sure to check out my updated money guide in the top right corner. Beautiful. Now, the only situation where instant delivery actually is better than normal delivery is when you have a delivery driver that cannot keep up with the items being sold in your store. You can say that using delivery driver is mostly only useful when you have a good vehicle. When you have a good enough vehicle, totally varies on what you sell, but I can say as much as that a semi-truck, preferably a helicopter, should do you very well with most items. But an example of me actually using the pickup truck as a delivery vehicle was when I sold small electronics, since small electronics are so small in size, and they are also very expensive. So customers, they won't buy small electronics that often, uh, that gives your delivery driver a lot of time to go and buy new small electronics. So to make it easy for you, if you don't have a good delivery vehicle, use instant delivery. Because the potential earnings lost by not having all items stocked is actually worse than a 25% increased cost. At least for most items. Now, what is the use of the percentages? Now, this is the part where most people start to struggle, because it kind of doesn't make any sense. But I have a very simple solution for you. If you use delivery drivers, use 200%. And if you use instant delivery, use 125%. Keep in mind that anything above 100% means that your manager will buy extra items as a backup in your storage. So when you just hired your manager, you will earn very little in the beginning, perhaps even lose money, because the manager is stocking up backup items in your storage. Let's use 200% as an example. If you sell small electronics, which is 18 total electronics, 
Now your manager will buy 18 extra small electronics as backup. And that is actually as much as $7,200. And for some people, just opening a new store, $7,200 might actually be a lot. And keep in mind that the more items you sell, the more items the manager will have to buy as backup. It will then become more expensive once you have expanded a new store, because the manager has so much to stock. But know this, it isn't a problem that you don't earn so much money in the beginning. Because once the items actually are fully stocked, you will earn lots of money as usual again. And if you in any case feel unwell from the money going down, set the manager to 100% and it won't buy anything extra. The only money you will lose in that case, it is the worker payments. And also PS, never use anything below 100%. I don't see the reason for it. So in summary, don't hire the manager too early but still don't be afraid to hire it. The manager is not a problem at all, you just need to know that it can cost you a little bit of money in the beginning if you have more than 100% stock set for it. You will also most of the time use instant delivery until you reach the later game where you can afford bigger vehicles. As than that, enjoy the manager just like any other worker. Click like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and comment down below for the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.